right off the bat, I must apologize A for not uploading a lot and B for sounding so, you know, depressed because I am depressed and both of which can be attributed to school but we are not here to talk about my problems, we are here to talk about a roulette royale battle that I have against the guy who is sitting and I figured if I narrated I might just start to feel better and get my mind off things, you know, because Pokemon is an anti drug and shit, but whatever, you don't guy you you guys don't care about that. So look at his team, he's got a lot of physical sweepers. I mean it's pretty much entirely physical sweepers. It's pretty much what he told me over Skype before we had this battle because we were like trying to be cute and giving each other hints as to what we got. And well, I don't have a water resist that I would really like to use. I have two, one being a level 98 Snivy because I still want my Snivy to evolve, damn it, level 100 and not evolve is just too cruel. And I have a level 50 Kyogre because it's a uber and all ubers have to be at level 50 for roulette royales, I don't know, I suppose I'm not really in a position to say like if that's stupid or not but whatever he's gonna leave with that hey there and I am going to leave with my onigiri and I have no idea what his name means because this is the guy who is sitting when does his nickname ever make sense or is ever self-explanatory I mean my onigiri is so self-explanatory and like you know obvious and shit that I don't even have to explain it <laughs> so I'm gonna set up my physical wall because I just sort of decided to make my unfazen a physical wall after he told me his entire team was like physical or at least a lot of his guys are so I just kind of took his advice made a physical wall which promptly lies to two hits upon the switch in which is very useful and conducive to victory because that is, this is just how the Pokemon game works and this is how the Pokemon universe works because nothing in life makes sense whatsoever and the Pokemon world does well to emulate that fact. So I'm gonna set up my Snivy, my level 98 Snivy which should not have a nickname because it's an event from a Japanese Pokemon Center thing and therefore it should be named Tsutaja with the katakana not English and I'm gonna go for the lead seat here and out comes his first uber his lady bar and I'm like so scared of this thing I'm I I'm not even shitting you do I even sound like I'm shitting you here this thing is an absolute terror and fuck up my butt so I'm gonna send my rice ball here my onigiri and then he's gonna go for the bug bars I mean that's that bug bars my freaking god look at that damage it is like it does damage that is not visible to the naked eye only smart people can see that kind of damage the kind of damage that you wouldn't realize that you have been damaged by until you sort of die and when you're lying on your deathbed you can't you sort of think I can't believe it a lady boy actually got a hit on me my god what a failure I am in life and such and because I was so scared shitless of that lady bar I'm, I just went for the spikes and because I didn't want to touch it because it was so scary and everything so how comes this Tantler and I'm even more scared of it because it intimidates me and this is the sort of human level intimidate here because this is weak sauce scary and the lady bar is the real scary thing here so he's gonna go for the jump kick and I'm kind of thankful that actually GTF vote here because I wanted to stay in and go for more spikes but considering the threats on his team that I can't handle I figure I might want to keep my choice scarf clearly alive or healthy at least because I don't plan on him ever letting ever knowing that I'm choice scarf until it costs him a Pokemon or two so I'm gonna go for the will always thinking he might want to switch stay in because Gardevoirs aren't really known for their defenses but I went for the will always and missed because this lady bar is just too terror inducing and even my sucker is just too afraid to actually you know touch it because it's an auto fire auto win thing and I go for the psychic because Gardevoirs really love their trainer so I just told it to go for the psychic to get it fu to get the fuck out of my screen before I die of shock and he goes for the psychic and look at how much damage it d does that is a fully evolved stage 3 Pokemon using a stat move called for base 125 special attack and it does nothing to that freaking ladybug that is that is proper scary here of course the fact that I didn't know what ladybug stats are didn't help matters because only after I went for the psychic did he ever did Psycho tell me that their only decent starts are like special defense because clearly the rest of his starts are uber so I'm just 
pri hoping to pry on the, his uber defenses and I'm just gonna go for the tail slap and Hippotom passes out his agility or should I say his uber agility because it's not a normal agility he passes his uber agility to his second uber and look at my Mincino making mince meat out of his second uber that is just that is just bravery that is unabridged bravery and that is just guts and undiluted passion to battling I mean every Pokemon and this is living proof of this ladies and gentlemen can be powerful if you raise it with love care sweat tears and joy it, my Mincino has been with me for so long and is I didn't pokey self this thing or anything I swear to God to this because I'm not religious that I did not pokey self this thing and I mean look at this bully ignited knife Star Raptors are things that bullies use to make themselves feel better about themselves at the cost of others. And look at my Mincino! My my Mincino lived it, the ahead from that bully Pokemon Star Raptor, which is VL, my, whereas my Mincino is considered by the nerds as nowhere near good enough to be classified as anything. And I am going to go for the U-turn because I'm stupid. Because, well, I thought if he wanted to go for the agility or something that I could U-turn out. Uh, not agility, but just otherwise set up. Because if he actually wanted to set up, I could U-turn and go out to my choice scarf gladly, review that I'm choice scarf and I spank him to death. But clearly that's not what happens. And I'm gonna send out my sucker falling in love again. Cause you love her. But you better start looking for another trend. She cropped you out of her Facebook photo. And I forget the rest of the song because I'm stupid. And I'm gonna go for the psychic, which surprisingly kills after the surprising damage I took from a minus one return. Although I suppose it is step and life orb, but. You know what, I really don't know anything about anything about Pokemon anymore because I am stupid and I deserve to die horribly, painfully. Which is why he's gonna send out this heyday to ruin my life, to steal one of his quotes, and I am going to have to GTFO here. Sort of ballsy to predict because he knows that I have a Glalie right about now and he might just go for the um, waterfall, so I'm just gonna go out to my Snivy, but he also knows that I have a Snivy and he might just go for a waterfall, so at this point it's pretty much a guessing game right now. Though, I'm not really sure if he gets Ice Fang or any other useful Ice moves to like, you know, hit a Snivy with, so... I suppose I made the right choice there. So I'm just gonna go for the lead scene, of course he's not gonna stay in because by the f damage he dealt to my Unpheasant, I'm pretty much already thinking that he is choice bander therefore he wouldn't want to stay in. Now I go for the Lee on this Uber which is probably my only feasible way of damaging this god almighty Arceus beating Mewtwo thrashing magic cup annihilating thing because I'm just that terrified of it and he's gonna go for the silver win and he's he was trying to pull a nick here to get the boost and he doesn't get the boost because plus six is just too cheap for a god and god values fairness and integrity above all else therefore he doesn't get the boost or I should say the boost and as, so as a show of respect I go for the spikes here and he gets the boost of the boost the boosting move the the, the, the so basically he's Bankai now with like Super Saiyan with like level 5 combos and whatever the hell the hyper counterpart to Naruto is because I don't watch Naruto and One Piece and uh, Super Devil of Metal Slug but I suppose that's not a very popular whatever whatever I, I guess Super Saiyan not not just Super Saiyan excuse me stage 3 Super Saiyan where he goes like all red and monkey and shit so can I send out my Sutaja because I'm so scared of it and I figure if I try to act cute he might have some mercy for me but in actuality I was more or less predicting the Baton pass into his Basculin or his Sharpedo, both of which can wreck my team, especially the Sharpedo with the speed boost, so I'm not entirely sure if my Glalie is up to the job of handling that, and I thought if he went to the Sharpedo, I can set up my Sutaja, lure him to go into, into the Ice move, therefore I can switch into my Onigiri, and then from that point, reveal that I'm Choice Scarf and go for the Earthquake and kill it, but Thankfully he doesn't even baton pass out, he kills my Tsutaja and I'm gonna s I should say Snivy because, you know, <laughs> Japanese names are so wannabe. 
or should I say we a boo, whatever. So I'm gonna send out my rice ball, kill it, reveal that I'm sure it's scarf, although knowing that stupid lady bus non-existent speed I might not even have needed the choice scarf to kill it but here I thought yes I'm choice scarf I'm gonna ice bang you to death and then he's gonna brave bird me which is like super depressing because this is a Sunday and Sundays are depressing because after Sunday comes Monday and I have work on Monday so up comes this Kyogre which is going to get the rain up and this is an old battle for my noob days that I don't know anything about EVs and IVs from that I found in the versus recorder so whatever I don't know I guess you guys can have a good laugh with me and my noobish days but now I know better so now I have my Star Raptor all EV'd up and ready to take ass and kick names and I am just too good because Star Raptor is just too good because it is my signature Pokemon and no one fucks with my signature Pokemon and my jazz music so how can this Kyogre and I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird and my signature Pokemon one shots this Uber and I'm like <laughs> What am I even watching? I mean what the fuck am I even watching? Because you know this this shit is just too good to be true. So how comes this Mencino and I'm gonna eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner, shit it out again and eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner all over again. And I know this isn't a very good impression. But you know what, whatever. I guess I'm just not man enough for that deep voice. So look at my Mincino. My Mincino live raised with love, care, concern, and everything. Goes for the tail slap and almost kills this Sharpedo, which is fully evolved. And I'm not even fully evolved, and I'm going to get my ash cake nut right now. So thankfully, this will suffice for like a makeshift narration. I know it's not as good as my normal ones. Hell, maybe it is. I don't know. You be the judge of that. I'm gonna. I'm running out of time to speak. So good game and goodbye. And thanks for watching.